For someone like me who loves catfish and loves to add smoked fish to as many meals as I can, coming to the UK and seeing how expensive smoked catfish was sent me on an unplanned leave from catfish. But I'm back now because I have hacked it and will be sharing this hack with you right away. First step is to go to an African or Asian shop and purchase a pack of frozen catfish. This usually contains about three to four fishes depending on their size. Then take the fish home, clean it and cut it into as many pieces as you wish. Let me now spill the sweet part of this. <laughs> you can enjoy this in a variety of ways. I usually put most of it in the oven and smoke it, then I use what's left to prepare catfish pepper soup. And this catfish pepper soup is usually enough to fill two bowls for myself and my husband. Dinner for that day, sorted. Then the smoked catfish I get at the end of this is used in at least three different meals or soup. This is what I've done. Yeah, this is. It's a win-win, if you ask me. And yes, that's how I've been doing it, and I've been loving it. If you want to think about the gas used to smoke the fish and every other thing, I think I've done my own cost-benefit ratio, and I feel like I really still like it, because I can smoke it to the level or degree I want, and not necessarily as hard and strong as the ones you find in the African shop. Just take a look at the price of this. Just just take a look. Like, really? That's too much for me. So this is how I do it. Um, I hope it helps you. <laughs> Let me see your comments in the comment section. Is this something you want to try out? Let me know. Uh, yeah, I heard you. I heard you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>